Okay, now let's take a look at what effect English can have on a bank shot. As I mentioned earlier, it doesn't, go in, it doesn't help us a whole lot as far as redirecting the uh, cue ball off of an object ball or actually redirecting the pathway that an object ball will take, but if you can use any English, uh, get it imparted to the object ball when it contacts a cushion, that can make a big difference in whether you can make a shot or not make a shot. In other words, let's take this setup right here where we've got these two balls lined up straight into the rail. So if I hit it straight on, that ball is supposed to go straight over there. But if my intention is to bank it back over to this pocket, and let's say for some reason because of other obstructing balls being around, my angle is cut off, taking away the, the cut angle to bank it. Now I have to hit it straight in the cushion. What I would like to be able to do is impart enough right hand English onto this ball so it gives me an angle coming back this way. And the way we do that is by using the correct English on our cue ball. So if one English uh, transfers to, uh, to another ball in a reverse direction, it's like gear teeth. If I've got this gear rotating this direction, it grabs the teeth of the next gear and rotates it the opposite direction. The same thing happens with pool balls. So if I want this ball to have right hand English on it, I need to use left hand English on this ball. Now once again, I don't know if we're going to be able to make this because I don't know how much English we can get transferred, but I'm going to see if we can transfer enough right hand English on that ball to get it to come over this direction. Pretty close.